All right, Shalom. Brother Kashikwala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. It's going to be another swift lesson in the spirit. Um, if you pretty much going into love and hate, simple and plain as that, it's okay to hate. As long as you love, all right, because this world's the, the oh, man, <laughs> you know, we all can't stand this place. We hate this place. That's simple and plain as that. <laughs> There's a brother in my camp, in the Atlanta camp, the name of his uh, page is GMS, I hate my life. It's okay to hate because this, this world always is talking about oh hate is a strong word and you shouldn't hate anything you nah hate is can be healthy at times okay too much of it can uh can taint a soul uh but too little of it you become uh, complacent and content with the place that you're in which is slavery which is jail all right uh, love is good all right, but well, being over loving can make you susceptible and um, and vulnerable to certain things because you're blinded by, you know, quote unquote good feelings or you know, just love in general. All right, but people have a, a misconception of love as well. They don't know the true definition of that. So we're going to start off with love and just get the blunt, true definition of it according to the scripts. As you can see on the screen, this is a second John chapter one, verse six. It says, um, and this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, you shall walk in it. Exactly. That's love. Plain and simple as that. Love is a verb. It's something that has to be expressed. It's something that has to be shown. OK, let's do love real quick. Let's go to the verb, though. Love, to feel love for, cherish, show love, to delight in, approve. Let's see. Let's go back to the noun. It says uh, love, a feeling of love, romantic, nah. affection, friendliness, the love of the most high. Of course, because love is, it works in conjunction with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because first and foremost, just a simplistic term of it. He created it, but the real love is doing what I ask. If you really love me, it's like you being in a relationship with a woman, all right? And yes, I have to say it like that, which is crazy. Yes, being in a relationship with a woman, because you got people out here who are extremely obscure in the mind and uh, 100% um controlled by demons and, and controlled by the lust of the flesh with loving uh, mankind. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to be as quote unquote PG as possible because E will shut your page down for one little word. You know, you got algorithms. All right. Y'all catching my drift. All right. But love came. So you're in a relationship with a woman and if she's not doing what you ask her to do, but she sits there and says, I love you. Well, you're going to sit there and be like, no, the hell you don't. Because you're so obstinate and adverse to everything that I'm telling you to do. You're adverse to my life. So how can, how possibly can you love me? You don't even listen to me. Love has to be shown. Okay. So it's, um, it says praise. Ooh, that's a good one. It says to care, desire, love. Now let's go to uh, Genesis real quick. Because a lot of the scripts that, you know, deal with women could, I'm going to be real, could deal with us. We know what it says in Jeremiah. It's, the Lord sees us as a, a delicate woman. You, Some of the characteristics that are, you know, you read about in Timothy and things of that nature in Titus, the second chapter could could be applicable to you you know all right so we're just gonna go ahead and uh genesis 3 and 16 it says unto the woman he said i 
will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband. Well, in our case, our desire should be towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The scriptures talk, talk about him being the husbandman. All right. Simple. He he is. Oh, oh Salaki. He it, the scriptures talk about him being the bridegroom. OK. And us the bride. Right. So our desire should be towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, what? Doing what he asks us to do. That's how we show our love and compassion to him. All right. Yes, thy desire shall be, our desire shall be to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This kind of ties into uh, one of the lessons I had done about knowing your purpose. And that goes back to Ecclesiastes, the classic script, 12 and 13, where it says, What? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's how you show your love and appreciation towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai while doing what he asks. How can you really say you love somebody and you're so, um, you're like a brick wall to them? Or whatever they say goes in one ear and out the other. You don't love them. You don't care. Yeah, they're asking you to do something that will further their happiness with you. And instead, what they're saying to you is falling on deaf ears. It's two, that's two thirds of, uh, of Israel, man. But two thirds of Israel will sit there and tell you that you can't hate hate nothing. Screw off. Because you don't even know how to love. Simple. And they're too consumed in their own hate. To see how to love. You see what I'm saying? All right. That's why the scriptures say a, a false balance is an abomination to the to the Lord. All right. It's okay to hate as long as you love. You have to have the balance in there. You can hate your life. You can you can um, hate the place that you're in. You can hate the position that you're in. But also turn around and love your life and be thankful and appreciative. I know it kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it's the balance of everything. And once you find that sweet spot, you can say, Everything will work out and play and play its part. If you find yourself hate and hate a lot, then you usually find yourself saying, "Man, well, why should I?" Prime example, man, why should I eat uh, healthy? Man, this place is gonna burn anyway. Or why should I progress in this job or did this man? This this place is just gonna go down. Economy's gonna crash anyway. You don't know when. Being in that mindset is you being consumed in hate, instead of trying to progress. The scriptures tell you to abound in First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter. How can you abound if you're so consumed in your own uh, misery and hate? That's when you have to transfer over to love to outweigh well not outweigh to combat that there is a time the scriptures say it and what uh shoot in ecclesiastes there is a, a time to hate ecclesiastes the third chapter and time to love there's a balance to it all right so i'm gonna read this one more time and we're gonna move on the topic of hate it says um and this is love that we walk after his commandments this is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. Exactly. That's how you show love. That's how you practice love. By doing what the Lord asks you to do. All right. Let's go to Psalm 97 and 10. It says, ye that love the Lord hate evil. Now, this brings us into the hate. All right. Exactly. If you love the Lord and you try to strive after his commandments, therefore, it is OK to hate certain things because it's adverse and it's it's a uh, it's not going in the way it's against the grain. It's heterodox towards the Lord. Therefore, you can hate that. This society, you should hate America. You should hate these two third idiots out here. You should hate. 
All right, because they're wrong. All right. They're wrong. Simple. You should not like wrong ways. <laughs> it's like you, you going on the you're going the wrong way on the highway. People would hate you for that because it's wrong. And that's how that's how hate falls into play. All right. This is. I'm going to come back to Psalm 97, but this is a uh, Psalm 119 and 26. I have declared my Salakia. No, 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 no. I want to go to Psalm 118, I want to say. No, it's Psalm 119. I think it's 126. I was at 26. This is Psalm 119 in 126. Yep. It says, it is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void the law. Exactly. I'm going to say it plain as simple as that, as this. <laughs> this is a script showing that we should be tattletelling on these niggas. <laughs> this simply shows that we are tattletelling on you, you two third jakes. We're literally saying when we quote this script, hey, Lord, you see what they're doing? They don't love you. You see, they're going against what you're saying. Please make their life diminutive. <laughs> you see because another thing too we will title tell on you heathens because you heathens think the lord's power can be attenu uh, what is it, what is it, attenuated which uh, i think it's a that's the word attenuated means to make something thin or fade away so we're title telling on you as well all right Going back to Psalm 97, because we we don't we hate y'all. And the scriptures talk about hate with perfect hatred. All right, I'm gonna get some more scripts in the book of Psalms because also, matter of fact, let's just go back to Psalm 119 real quick. Let's go up to 104. It says Psalm 119 and 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Correct. Because through thy precepts, I understand the Lord's righteousness and how he wants us to conduct ourselves. The scriptures say in all holy in a conversation, which goes into the word conduct and how you should be acting. Okay. How you should be presenting yourself. How you should be showing yourself. Okay. When people see you from the outside looking in. And how you carry yourself. Is your morals that have been found uh, founded in you through the scripts because the scripts are your foundation. So through thy precepts, I get understanding when I start to understand this is how I love. And then I look around and see the darkness that's around me. I hate it. Therefore, I hate every false way in a rightful reason, too. Damn, I can't. I, I don't eat pork no more. Now I see people eating pork. I hate that. Is wrong because now I okay the script first off the scripts told me not to do it. That's when you become inquisitive. Well, why? Okay, you start looking into the benefits in the in the. In the now I want to say the benefits the the reason why pork is unhealthy, because it's a meat that doesn't matter what temperature you cook it at is still gonna have bacteria in it. How about that? But yet Jake will still want to eat that and consume it and wonder why their blood pressure is high. Wonder why they have diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Okay. And they're so stupid and they continue to do it and you end up hating that. That's the reason why blood pressure is high. That's the reason y'all having heart attacks at the age of 25. That's the reason why you have diabetes at the age of 20. Because you don't hate the false ways and you don't keep what the Lord tells you to you don't keep doing what the Lord tells you to do because you don't love the Lord. That's why the scriptures say in Psalm 36 and one, there is no fear in them. That's why also the scriptures say, because there is no knowledge of the Lord in the land. All right. Psalm 97 and 10 again, it says, ye that love the Lord. Exactly. So you, the ones who are following after the Lord to the best of your abilities, What's that Judges 11 where it says we rehearse the righteous acts of the uh, of the Lord? We are to rehearse these righteous things 
because it shows that we love him. We're putting forth an effort. Like I said, love is an action verb, baby. Or is an action word, which is a verb. Sa same thing with faith. It's action, baby. Show, you believe? Well, show me you believe. Well, I believe in them. Where's your videos at? Who do you follow? Who do you watch? What do you read? I need to see these things. What do you know? I need, I need to see that you know. So I know that you, you have some inkling of faith and belief in you. It's an action. All right. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. Simple and plain as that. You're supposed to hate it. He preserved the souls of the saints, which are the elect 144, who what? Kept. Kept the word. <laughs> Let's get Revelation real quick. 14. Let's get Revelation 144. All right. It says, these are they which are not defiled with women, which goes into philosophy. Another term that is used in the script is wine, which is philosophy as well. All right. It says, for they are virgins. Correct. They kept themselves clear of what? These wicked ass philosophies, which is what? Hating evil. If you hate something, stay away from it. Why would you indulge yourself in it? It says, these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were re redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto the most high into the into the lamb all right going back psalm 97 and 10 again ye the ye that love the lord hate evil he preserved the souls of the saints he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked correct so when you hate evil it's a wise thing because then what you start pondering the paths of your feet man proverbs 4 i know elder ratazar loves this this script all right. It says uh, Proverbs 4 and 27. It says, turn not to the right nor to the left. Nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. How do you remove your foot from evil? From hating it. So it's OK to hate. All right. It is OK to hate. And it's OK to love. If you love, you're going to in turn end up hating something straight, straight up. If you hate something, you're going to love something. It's a balance to it. Don't be overindulged in hate and don't be overindulged in love. Have that balance. Okay? Have that balance so you can stand uh so you can stand uprightly and steadfast. Because if you too much loving, you're going to lose the hate that you have for this place and come become complacent, which complacent can kill. All right. Complacent goes into the word. It's an synonymous to the word lukewarm, which means weak. You come become complacent, you become weak. You see, don't become weak. But if you hate this place, you're going to become too overly zealous. Over righteous. Too quick to do something, quick to judge. Your discernment is going to be. Um. Um, tainted you're going to have pretty much your discernment you're going to have cataracts meaning you're seeing cloudy a cloudy judgment alright you have to have the perfect balance what if the prime example and I'm going to close it out on this statement here you're going to have people come to you in that day you will searching for answers. They're going to have demons on them probably. They in the flesh. But are you going to hate them so much. Because they are they came with you with an edge up. But the Lord wants that individual to, to get the truth and to be saved. But you turn them away. Because you're in so much hate. You got an edge up. Well, you still eat. There's 11th hour Israelites man. The peaceful multitude in the in the one third got to come to come to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai some way, and you may be the ticket or the key or the path for them to do so. And if your judgment is cloudy by over hating, that's on you. Same thing with with love. In that day, 
uh, Instagram model comes seeking for help, but she a wicked ass individual. But you're too you're too blinded by uh, by her looks. The scriptures tell you to beware of a beautiful woman, pretty much. Yeah, I think I want to say in the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Also, it it says uh, to not be in much company with a singer and not to use a woman uh, for for pleasure. That's what the the scripts say. And you're too overly like in love with her looks, and she's really a wicked ass demon that the Lord has rejected. But your discernment is uh, uh you know obscured because you done fell in love or something. <laughs> You see, you have to have the balance and you having a balance when it comes to judging is you being unbiased, you know. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all glory, honor and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect, 144 first fruit until the next time. We'll say Shalom.